Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at using the Warehouse mobile app to do short picking when you're picking orders. In other videos, we've taken a look and seen how you can do sales picking in the Warehouse mobile app. We didn't really take a look at what you do you know, if the inventory is not there. So what we're going to take a look at today is how to do short picking in the Warehouse mobile app. We do that with these codes called Work Exception Codes. And with these codes, you can set them up to do a cycle count if there's item is short picked, or you can do the item reallocation. And item reallocation will let the system find the item somewhere else in the warehouse, or you can do a manual reallocation where the uh, warehouse worker will pick a location to pick it from, or you can do no reallocation where if they just short pick it, it's done. So what we're going to take a look at first is how to set up these work exception codes. All right, so let's take a look at the setup for the uh, short picking. So where we're going to go is we're going to go under warehouse management, and then we're going to go under setup, and then we're going to go under work. And underneath work, there's a work exceptions. That's where we're going to go. All right, so there's several different types of work exceptions. We're going to focus today on the short pick work exceptions. So you have the exception code here. You have the description of it, and then the exception type, again, is the short picking. You can create cycle counting based on these. So for example, if you just pick short picking, you could also generate a cycle count as well. In this example, we're not gonna generate cycle counts on any of ours. Uh, the next column over, you can, you can choose to adjust the inventory. And if you have that checked, you'll wanna uh, select the default adjustment reason type code. And then you can also automatically decrement the shipment or load uh, with that checkbox. And then let's talk about the item reallocation. What the item reallocation is gonna do, if when you short pick the item, uh, if it's none, it's not gonna do anything else. It's not gonna go out and try and find the item somewhere else. The automatic, what that's gonna do is when you short pick the item, uh, the system will run through the uh, location directives again and see if it can find another spot where the inventory might be. And then it'll uh, direct the user uh, to that location. And then we'll skip automatic and manual for just a second, come back to that, and then we'll, the next one is manual. So this allows a user to manually enter a location for the, for the item. Now it's important to note, if you're gonna use manual, uh, if you go under the worker, uh, there's a flag here uh, called auto allow manual item reallocation. If this is set to no, the worker's still not gonna be able to manually reallocate the item. So just make sure if you're gonna use that, that you've selected the worker and, and made sure that they can do that. So we go back to our work exceptions. The last one is automatic and manual. So what it's gonna do is just like what it sounds like, it's going to first run the automatic process to see if it can find a match in the location directives. If it doesn't find a match or another an item somewhere else, uh, it will allow you to manually uh, put in a location. Now that our work exception codes are set up, let's take a look in, at the first example we wanna use, which is no reallocation. So this would be where an example where the warehouse worker would just go up to the item, they can't find the item, or, or for whatever reason, they're gonna short pick this item, and they'll choose the, the no reallocation. So once the short pick is done, there will be no further action by the user. For this first example, we've got a one-line sales order that I've released to the warehouse for item Z0001. It's gonna pick it from, trying to pick it from the Z pick location and take it to the bay door. So let's go ahead and copy this. And the exception code that we'll use on this example is just the short picking, so short picking item not there. And so this is gonna have the none on the, on the reallocation, right? So let's go to the uh, mobile app and we're gonna to go to the outbound and then sales picking. And we'll go ahead and put in our work ID. And so let's say we don't have this item. So it's telling us to pick the item Z001 from location Z pick. So what you do is you come up to the hamburger menu here and we're gonna do the short pick and pick quantity. In this case, is gonna be zero, but you would just put whatever amount you were gonna pick. I'll put zero there. And the reason, uh, so remember, I'm gonna do the short picking item not there, which is the same one here with, with the none on the reallocation. So we'll say okay to that one. All right, and then we'll go ahead and say okay to that. All right, so let's go back and look at the work on it. So if we refresh this, did close the work, and if we look at the inventory on the item, let's go in the item number here, and the inventory, and we'll take a look at what we've got here. And let me expand out some dimensions here. So we have a location and license plate. 
So notice in our Z pick now, there is no, uh, no inventory there. So one of the things that our work exception code did was zero out the inventory. All right, the other thing that it's done, if I go ahead and close this, and we'll go and take a look at the shipment on this sales order. So I'm going to go back to my sales order and click on shipment details. We'll notice on the, uh, on the shipment there, the quantity has also been zeroed out there. Okay, so that was the no reallocation method there. So this next example, what we're going to do is take a look at the automatic reallocation. So when I short pick the item, the system is going to roll through the location directives, find the next best location to pick the item from based on your location directives, and, and direct the user there. All right, for this example, we're going to use the same sort of setup. So we had a, I've released a sales order with an item Z0001. It's going to ask me to pick it from Z pick. So let's go ahead and take a look at the work exception code we'll use this time. So what we'll do this one is the short picking auto, so the automatic reallocation. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory that's on the item here so we can understand what that one's going to do. Um, so we're going to go to on hand inventory. All right, so I've got only one in my uh, Z pick location that uh, it's asked me to pick. Um, so what when I do the automatic, it's going to go to this bulk location now to uh, to grab the item, right? So it's going to go through my location directives, and my location directive will point me to this one after it goes to the picking location. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Go ahead and close this back out, and we'll get this work ID. And we'll go back to the app, and we're going to put that work ID in. And I'm going to do the same sort of thing. We're going to hit the little hamburger icon up here. We're going to do a short pick. Pick quantity on this one is going to be zero. And the reason on this one is going to be short picking with automatic reallocation. So we're going to say OK to that. And we're going to say OK to that. And now notice it's asking us to pick one from the Z bulk location. All right, so let's take a look at the, the work, what the work looks like after that. So I'm going to hit refresh on this work here. And so notice this first line is closed with zero, and it's canceled the put line, and then it's created a, another pick line for the Z bulk location for one and then uh, one on the bulk. So it keeps the same work. It just creates additional lines for the additional work there. Okay, so what we're going to take a look at next is a manual reallocation. So the user is going to short pick the item and then manually specify what location they want to get the item from. All right, in this example, it's the same setup. We have item number Z0001. It's asking us to pick it from the Z pick location. And this time, let's, we'll use the manual reallocation. So we're going to use short picking manual or short picking with manual reallocation. So let's go ahead and we'll copy that work ID. And we'll go to the app. We'll cancel out of that previous work. We'll put this work ID here. All right, so same thing. We'll hit the hamburger menu. We're going to do a short pick. Our pick quantity is going to be zero. And this time we're going to do uh, with manual reallocation. And it's going to, to give me the option, available quantity and locations. That's where I'm going to get that one from. We'll go ahead and get it from the bulk location and then we're going to go ahead and say OK. So if we go back and look at the work on this one again, same sort of work. We're going to have a closed pick line, a canceled put line on the bay door, and then it's going to open up a line for the bulk location and then an open line for the put to the bay door. All right, so today what we did was took a look at three examples of how to use these work exception codes. I didn't cover the automatic and manual allocation. That does the same thing as the automatic and manual combined. So it'll automatically look for a, the next best location sit in there. If it can't find one, it allows the user to manually specify one. So I didn't actually show that example. The other things I didn't really show was on the last two examples was that remember that the inventory was being adjusted out when I was selecting that because of the way I had the work exception code set up. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. So work exception codes are, are very useful in picking. You almost have to have them because mistakes are always going to happen. The inventory is going to be off. The user can't pick the item for whatever reason. You're going to need these set up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or like it. 
And I put a new one of these videos out every week, so please subscribe so you get notified when I put up a new video. Until next time, thanks for watching.